carpet over his bass drum and kind of built a tunnel and stuck a mic under that. So there's all kinds of stuff that we're, you know, looking at doing and recording. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, it's, it's a digital signal going to the hard drive, but there is still a lot of that old kind of traditional stuff that I think sounds like is certainly coming across. Yeah, but, you know, some, kind of some of these... Yeah, some of these tricks that you're talking about, these are what a lot of the rock bands of the 60s did. I know the Zombies did it, and the Kinks did it. Uh, oh, you know, yeah, just, virtually just, all. Just, just, yeah, sim- mm-hmm. simple things like isolating a microphone through a rolled-up carpet uh, could sure. create an, a, a, a very unique sound that you're not going to, to hear. And, and plus the fact that I, I, you know, I always listen for auto tune, which David will tell you I hate with a passion. <laughs> and and it, didn't sound, it didn't sound like you're using it. And congratulations on just on that aspect alone. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we pride ourselves on on that definitely. Oh, that's a good thing. I, I, auto tune is uh, not a bad thing, but uh, I think it's being tremendously overworked in the business today. <clears throat> now, before we let you guys go, uh, we've got you having this big tour cross country right now for virtually what? There uh, goes into how far into the year does it go? That goes into, almost in the fall, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. We kind of um, for this this little, this leg of our tour, we we finish. Um, in Napa Valley at Bottle Rock Music Festival on May 27th. No, that's a good place to finish. You won't want to leave there. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, now, they can, uh, listeners can find you. You have your own website, which is the uh, thebrevet.com. Uh, where else could they find you and your music online? Uh, just all the, all the normal stuff, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, the website. We're on Spotify. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, you... Uh, you have the locked and loaded tour, the locked and loaded sim, uh, uh, single. Now, what about an album? It's coming. Well, it's coming. Would, yeah, was... we're just uh, ur- we're urging our uh, urging our fans to stay tuned. I'm sure sometime in the fall is when we're anticipating a release. Um, All right. Well, that's that's what I was doing. I was I was giving you an open door to get that word in there because uh, actually yeah. I, I I knew you were working on it and I wanted to give you a chance to get in there and uh, and promote it. You'll uh, you'll have words of course to your fans and the followers online at your website and of course all the social media sites and you have a, a newsletter also on your website, right? Yeah, and the best thing they can do is follow us on anything and everything they can find, Spotify, Twitter, Facebook, our website. You've got a thing running through Noise Trade now, and um, if you sign up through that, we'll be sure to be able to get in touch with you and make sure that you're up to date on when the record's coming out, when we're coming to a city near you, be it Phoenix or anywhere else, and that's just the best way to, to stay in touch with us in today's day and age. On that Noise Trade uh, platform right now, we're actually there's also a giving away a free uh, live version of Locked and Loaded as well. And a couple other awesome. things, too. Little, awesome. Little, little, little teaser. One. That little tidbit I didn't know about. Thank you for injecting that. I want to be sure and tell you, as we tell all of the guests on the show here, once you're on our show, you're a member of our family. We'll always have an open door and a place for you. So uh, keep in touch with us. I have a, uh, I have a page on Facebook right now that you can go to. Uh, just, uh, just search The David Bowers. And uh, there's a music page, music groups page on there, which is up there solely for the purpose of my guests to post their music news, their schedules, their dates, their music. Music, their new releases, whatever. It's there. Feel free to use it anytime you want. And we thank you so much for joining us here today. We'll look forward to having you back in the near future. Keep in touch, okay? Sounds thank good. You thank you, good. guys. Thanks, Appreciate guys. it. Thanks, guys. Great. Great. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brevet. Here is their newest single, name of their tour as well Locked and Loaded.
Hi, this is indie recording artist Nikki Chris, and you're listening to The David Bowers. The Brevet from Nashville, Tennessee. And speaking of Nashville, our next guest, this seems to be the the Nashville show uh, this week. Everybody is from Nashville. And our next guest, no exception, they have uh, they've made some uh, some good noise in the Music City. And we're going to bring them back here for this. Uh, haven't had them on for a while. We're going to bring them back in just a couple of minutes right after you, you listen to uh, this next track, Two Girls who were the first and only mother and daughter duo to appear as finalists on The Voice, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, if you would please, to Steel Girls and In My Head. Love is just a way to pass the time So you wasted so much the king of hearts, you made the rules, and I was just a fool. Ooh, those wasted memories, things you used to tell me, everything was empty, you're so cold, sometimes I wish we never Kept you as a dream. At least then you still be loving me. I'm doing fine, it doesn't hurt. Cause you can't lose what is in your. my head two steel girls right here on the david bowers awards and you know uh, john bon jovi it, it's kind of uh, before i bring them on it's kind of funny that uh, uh one of the guys from the brevet mentioned that i do do some homework because when we first had these young ladies on here i'm glad that i did some homework because i found out that one was that they were mother and daughter and at first i thought they were sisters so i'm glad i do do some homework kind of incentive you just you think you just that. made mom feel real good 
good. And when it's serious, I saw the picture and I, I just automatically thought, sisters, welcome aboard, girls. Well, thank you. It's so great to be back on. And thank you for the compliment. This is mom. Um, I, Hi, mom. I'm the only one. I'm the only one on tonight. I'm Allison. And people do usually think we're sisters. And that's a good thing for me. I told my, I tell people all the time, I hope I can keep holding on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you seem to be doing quite well so far. You've, uh, you've done a heck of a job right from, uh, right from the voice on up. Now I know you probably, that was probably an overnight success. You probably never worked at it before you started on the voice, right? That was, that was just uh, your first shot. <laughs> no, I've been singing my entire life and was a full-time uh, worship leader, and that's what I did for a living. And then when my kids were growing up, of course, I'm a fourth-generation musician, so when my kids were growing up, they were in their walkers and all that around my feet at uh, rehearsals, you know, at church. And they grew up playing instruments, and then it was just, you know, singing with me in church. And then uh, we decided one day, well, they're having auditions at the Bluebird Cafe, for songwriters and we thought well we've written a few songs let's just audition we've never played outside a church at that time and we auditioned and we actually got our very first show outside of church was the bluebird cafe and uh and so that was a lot of fun and then about three four months later we put out uh our first music video for all of our family members that were fans that's about all the fans we had and uh we put it out on youtube and do you know Somehow, talent scouts from The Voice came across it and asked us if we would like a private audition. And so we came and went into Nashville, and and there we were, private auditioning, nervous. It was raining, and we were sweaty mess on top of that. (laughs) It was a very humid, very humid Nashville day. And uh, wouldn't you know it, we made it and uh, made it then to the blinds and onto the show. So it's been a crazy, fun experience. And uh, we're not new. You know, not new to the stage at all, but new to a different kind of stage, I guess. Absolutely, and you've done you've done a wonderful job. Some great music, and I. I-